Hello friends, my name is Soham and today we are going to discuss about the uniqueness theorem. This theorem is about the Laplacian and Poisson's equation. This theorem states that any Laplacian equation or a Poisson's equation has a unique solution. So to prove that, uh, we assume two solutions of a Laplacian equation as V1 and V2 for the same boundary condition. Then according to the Laplacian equation, del square v1 is equal to 0 and del square v2 is equal to 0 then we consider the third third potential which will be the difference between these two then del square v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 as the boundary conditions of v1 and v2 are same therefore the difference between these two will be the uh, the boundary condition for this uh, equation will be 0 therefore it has only one solution which is 0 then each solution will satisfy the boundary condition then if we consider vb as the potential on the boundary then v1b is equal to v2b is equal to vb or we can write as v1b minus v2b is equal to 0 then we know the vector identity that is del dot vd is equal to v in bracket del dot d plus d dot del v where v is a stands for scalar and d stands for vector so in this case our v1 minus v2 is a scalar and del v1 minus v2 is a vector so for this we used this identity vector identity del dot v1 minus v2 gradient of v1 minus v2 is equal to v1 minus v2 del dot del v1 minus v2 plus del in bracket v1 minus v2 dot del v1 minus v2 if we give this equation as a equation number 2 then we will take the closed line uh, closed vol volume integral on the both sides then volume integral del dot in bracket v1 minus v2 del v1 minus v2 dv is equal to volume integral v1 minus v2 in bracket del dot del v1 minus v2 dv plus volume integral uh, del dot del uh, gradient of v1 minus v2 bracket square dv so we know the that the by divergence theorem the volume integral of del dot v1 minus v2 del dot v1 minus v2 is equal to closed surface integral of uh, v1 v1b minus v2b del v1b minus v2b ds where v1b and v2b are the uh, boundaries uh, with respect to the surface which is bounded by the volume then in equation 2 in this equation uh, del dot del in bracket uh, v1 minus v2 that is also equals to v, v del square v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 uh, this we have seen before from the equation first this will be the 0 then volume integral v1 minus v2 in bracket del square v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 that is this term becomes 0 then also in bracket uh, in del uh, volume integral in bracket del v1 minus v2 um, bracket square dv is equal to 0 uh, since uh, the ingredient uh, integral integrand that is this value is 0 everywhere we have taken this value as 0 therefore this integral becomes 0 therefore del in bracket v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 that is this integral becomes integrand becomes 0 and del in bracket v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 if del in bracket v1 minus v2 is everywhere 0 then uh, v1 minus v2 cannot change with any coordinates that is equals to uh, v1 minus v2 is becomes uh, is equals to constant then uh, v1 minus v2 here is v1b minus v2b is equal to 0 this is the uh, boundary values with respect to v1 and v2 therefore it becomes v1 is equal to v2 thus this theorem uh, states that uh, for this theorem states that for Laplacian equation there is only one solution if you solve the Laplacian equation uh, with two different methods will you will get uh, two solutions and uh, you will find that those are unique that is those are equal this theorem also applies for the uh, Poisson's equation uh, that is del square v1 is equal to minus rho v 
upon epsilon and del square v2 is equal to minus rho v upon epsilon then del square v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 as before and after uh, this we getting this um, the all the procedure is same uh, as we have derived before so conclusion actually this proves answers the question that uh, how do two solutions of a laplace equation or poisson's equation compare if they both satisfy the same boundary condition uh, this theorem uh, says that um, ensures that that the answers are identical thank you